Good evening, everyone. This is Steve KF5JUF. Hope everyone's having a good evening, good afternoon, weekend, and so forth. So today I got a quick video I wanted to do, and one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about was uh, the FT991A has a feature called a timeout uh, count timer. And what this feature does is it actually, uh, it, in the event, say for example, you were to accidentally uh, leave your radio in uh, transmit, for example, maybe the PTT got stuck or um, for whatever reason, you know, you the radio was left in continuous transmit. Uh, so by default, um, the radio is shipped and it comes to you with this feature actually disabled. So what that means is you could actually um, be transmitting for a long period of time and if you, you know, if the PT PTT got stuck or uh, if you had the VOX feature on where you actually, where it's actually voice activated and there was a lot of noise in the background, you could be transmitting for a long period of time and that, that could eventually do some damage to your radio. So what I want to go over today is uh, how to set the actual time on the, uh, the radio. So I'll go back, I'll swap over to the camera here in a moment, but uh, what I wanted to just go over real quick is um, it, it goes through and it talks about uh, we, we go to the menu setup and then we'll go to the multifunction knob and then we'll go to feature number tw uh, 36 which is the, uh, the timer and like I said by default it is set to off and what we'll do today in in our exercise in today's video is we'll actually set that to I think we'll set it to like three minutes or something but the the important thing is uh, you you probably want to set this on any any radio that you purchase and most of them will will have this feature available uh, it's usually referred to as a transmit uh, timeout feature and what that will do is that will actually, uh, like on my FTM 300D, uh, it also has the same feature, and it has the same feature on the F FT3D that I have the the handheld. So we'll we'll show you today how to do it on the FT991A, and um, we'll kind of go over that, and uh, I'll show you that. So we'll just go ahead and uh, I'll get ready, and we'll uh, get that portion of the video ready. So uh, I'll be back in a moment. Thanks. All right, folks, it's Steve, KF5JUF. We're back uh, in front of the radio. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and demonstrate how to set the uh, transmitter timeout. And what we'll do is to access it, the first thing we'll do is we'll press the Menu Setup button. And what we'll do next is we'll actually we'll scroll down. Scroll down to setting number 36. Now, here's the setting. So, what's happened, what I did earlier is I actually set it to three minutes. But what I want to show you is when you press menu setup, you'll go ahead and go and you'll look at the number 36 which is transmit what this stands for is transmit timeout basically so when you purchase the radio it's it's set to the off position and what this means is basically if you accidentally key up the transmit you'll stay in transmit for forever for basically until until the radio burns up but the purpose here is what we'll do is I'll show you is we'll go ahead and use the multi knob right here and you know what first we have to actually select it so let me select it now the way you know it's selected is you'll see the purple right there so now what we can do is now we can use the multi knob to set the intervals so for example uh, if I want to set it to one minute uh, that's cool we can go ahead and do that or we can set it to two minutes three minutes four minutes uh, and I think it's all the way up to 30 minutes so what will happen is, I'm going to set mine to one minute, I'm going to press enter, and now it's saved, we'll press back. Now what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to go ahead and go over to 380. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the power as low as I can. There's 100 watts. So I'll go through this real quick. So to set the power, press the function M list and it will go back and forth and there's the power right there. So to, to access it, when I press the RF power, notice what happens up here. RF power is also up here and it's here. It's at 100 watts right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring it down to 5 watts. Now I'm transmitting into a dummy load. So now when I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and press memory channel, which will clear this up here. Now I'm on 380, transmitting into a dummy load. So what's going to happen is, let's go back and look. We're set to one minute. And what I did, again, I selected it. And importantly is you have to press enter. If you're the beep, that means it saved it. So now, if I transmit, and again, I'm transmitting into a dummy load, I'm going to transmit for one minute, and I want you to see what happens. And I've got a timer right here, so I'm going to actually time it as we do it. Alright, now again, we're transmitting into a dummy load, so there's nothing going on the air. But the ideal here is I want to show you, for example, if you were to leave the uh, unit in continuous transmit. And where this could be a problem is, for example, like if you're if you're actually, um, you know, if the PTT gets stuck, if it gets jammed into a corner somewhere on your station and the PTT actually, um, you know, gets pushed, you you could actually be transmitting for a long period of time and, and actually damage your radio. Uh, this is important, especially on um, you know, for example, if, if you have a, a portable radio or something, this is really important. So, and let's see what happens here. Should be coming up almost one minute here. Now, you notice what happens? Look at that. It cleared. It cleared. And now, this way, you can accidentally leave it in. Uh, bypass. So what happened is I pressed the PTT for a full minute and when I pressed it for a full minute once it timed out you saw it started to flash here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set mine to three minutes because for example I might want to actually have a uh, QSO uh, over a minute and I don't want to cut myself so short so what I'll do now is I'll select 36 right here select now I'm going to dial it. I'm going to set mine for three minutes now ah, let's do four minutes press enter to save it back so I won't demonstrate this because it's just going to be four minutes but the purpose of this is 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 on any on any ham radio you always want to make sure you look for the transmit timeout because that will prevent you from in, inadvertently transmitting for for depending on your configuration you know you could be transmitting for hours you know if the cat falls asleep on your PTT you know that could be you could be transmitting for hours so what this does is this feature allows you to set a timer so that when you the moment you press the PTT button that timer starts now if you go past whatever set setting you have now I have mine set to four minutes I don't think I'll ever rag you for four straight minutes uh, it's possible but I seriously doubt it but the ideal here is you know if your cat comes up and he lays on your station and he happens to fall asleep on your PTT which uh, right here that's my PTT so if the cat were to fall asleep here, uh, I don't want to be transmitting for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> no one will appreciate it, and uh, your radio definitely will not appreciate it. So anyway, that's a that's all I wanted to show you on this video. Is just you know, transmit timeout uh, very important uh, on any radio. All ham radios have it, and uh, my recommendation is to find it 
and at least set it for two or three minutes and I will also do some videos on uh, the FTM 300 and the FT 3D uh, portable and I'll do those separately to show you how to set those so anyway that's all for this I've got one other thing I want to talk to you about real quick I'm going to go back over to the video screen and uh, we'll be back thanks from KF5 we'll be right back Good. Hey, it's Steve again. I'm back. Uh, just uh, one thing I wanted to, t to talk to everybody about is I've got uh, a plan, and I think what I'd like to do is I'm, I'm I've I've made a lot of videos, and some of the videos are are they're kind of sparsed apart where they're not exactly all together. One of the things I really want to get all of us uh, some some some. Uh, clear videos on is is how to get particularly on uh, sideband upper sideband and I want to emphasize the use of how to set the uh, microphone gain uh, also the uh, the compression level on the speech processor because one of the things that I want to talk about is at some point I want to go over this a little bit more uh, the FT991A has um, what I call configuration modes essentially and what that means is you can actually run the uh, mic gain on or you can set the mic gain but you can also set the processor to be on or off and you can also set the level of the processor how much is actually engaging uh, the other thing is the microphone equalizer now the microphone equalizer is also referred to as a parametric equalizer so what I'd like to do at some point is uh, I want to continue to help everyone, bring everyone together, because the key thing that I want to talk about is oh, when you're talking uh, upper sideband, uh, and my experience is with, 10, is with 10 meter, is we want to be able to engage both the processor and the microphone equalizer. And the parametric equalizer is an important tool it gives us the quality of voice, but again, the, the, the more important tool, particularly on sideband, is the processor. So uh, I've got a lot of videos on this, but I just kind of wanted to reemphasize, uh, you know, the, the, the initial, you know, this is the initial settings here. This is, you know, you have the processor and the equalizer. Now, if you're uh, running the processor with the parametric equalizer off you can do that you can set the settings here if you're running the processor uh, the parametric equalizer with the processor on there's a different set of settings what I want to focus on is I want us to have the microphone equalizer active but I also want the processor active so that means we have to work it within the uh, processor portion of the settings within the radio so again this is just kind of a quick overview like I said there's a couple of configurations you can run both of them off you can run uh, the processor on without the equalizer which is the parametric equalizer you can also run the processor off and the equalizer only and the most important one this is what I want to focus on is actually setting the processor to turn it on and to run the microphone equalizer so uh, that's kind of what I want to get everybody up up to the point where you can actually engage these settings in your radio particularly on the processor the parametric equalizer and I want you to be able to go through the process so uh, again I'll keep working on this but again this is just kind of an overview real quick of what um, because I, I, everybody can really sound good on this FT991A. It's got an amazing processor, and the equalizer is really, really good. So, um, but again, anyway, that's all I've got. I just wanted to kind of show you uh, what I'd like to get everybody to, because I think these are some very, very important features on the radio. And uh, again, um, this is my custom document, and um, if 